Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. In this video, I'm going to bring some things about Bitcoin to your attention that you need to know. Because guys, Bitcoin is changing lives a lot more than you know. It is bringing opportunity, love, and hope to people all around the world and mainly to the people that need it most. The people in the third world countries and people uh, that are in deep poverty around the world. And the reason most of these countries and most of these people are in, in poverty is because their government is printing money so fast that it's devaluating their currency and they can never, ever get ahead. Now, as disgusting as it is that in America, we have been printing money so fast that our inflation rate is over 9% which I truly believe it's more like double digits, like 22, 24%. But even at 9%, that means if you have to make uh, 9%, so on $100,000, you had $100,000 in the bank. And to keep the same purchasing power, you got to save $9,000 a year to stay the same. Guys, that's hard to get ahead. But imagine if you're in a third world country which almost every one of these countries are a lot worse than 9%. In Turkey, it's 70% a month, guys, not even a year. So imagine if you're making like $100 a week in Turkish lira to raise your family, that's $400 a month. And at the end of the month, if you save that, you don't even have $100 worth of purchasing power. Guys, it's impossible. There is no hope. There is no getting ahead. Well, that's where Bitcoin comes in. And I'm going to show you in this video how there's a grassroot movement that people are coming together to have that hope and have that opportunity. And they're doing it through Bitcoin and it's grassroots. There's no marketing team running around the world trying to get people to use Bitcoin or uh, these vendors to accept Bitcoin. No one's doing that. They are seeking out this opportunity, and that is exciting. Now, before we get into this video, please hit that like button and share with your friends and family. We want to get the word out because, guys, there's a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt about Bitcoin, but I want you to understand what Bitcoin is doing for the unbanked and the, the poor around the world. So before you get on the negative side of Bitcoin, you need to understand what you are stopping as far as opportunity for uh, people that have been victimized by their governments and money printing around the world. Now, make sure you subscribe and let me know at the end in, uh, what you think in the comment section. Now, this guy in this video has been around the world for two years and all he used was Bitcoin from buying a plane, hotels, food, everything. He only used Bitcoin. Check it out. India, UAE, Thailand, Cambodia, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Qatar, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, Zimbabwe. What about them? I've traveled to all these places, and by travel, I mean run. And not just run, I ran with just Victor. From scooters and buses and trains to the Dubai metros and flights, I've traveled everywhere on nothing but Bitcoin. I've met kind people who have kept me. Now, I want you to think about something, guys. He's been traveling for two years with only Bitcoin in these third world country. Most Americans, I almost guarantee, are saying there's no way you could do it because you couldn't even figure out how to do it in America. And it's really crazy to me that these third world countries uh, are using technology and more advanced uh, currency than we are in America. And these are third world countries that have different educations and different opportunities. Most of them are just now getting uh, cell phones and Wi-Fi uh, wherever they live. So keep that in mind, guys, how far behind America is. And look, these people, these vendors are seeking Bitcoin out. My heart and stomach food, feeding me food that I have not heard about before. From street food, biryani, pizzas, quesadillas, and samosas, Bitcoin has never let me starve. But that doesn't mean everything was all right. Uh, do you accept Bitcoin? No. No. Do you accept Bitcoin? No. 
No Bitcoin. You accept Bitcoin? You take Bitcoin? You accept Bitcoin? Do you accept Bitcoin? Like this lady Bitcoin. who didn't even have a clue about Bitcoin. But I've learned that in life, if you're patient, Bitcoin will find you. Bitcoin has taken me to so many places from Bitcoin Cafe in Hyderabad to getting massages for Bitcoin in Thailand, exchanging Bitcoin for cab rides in Mumbai and tuk-tuk rides in Cambodia, to even using Bitcoin as a wedding gift and to buy this little girl some toys. I've come a long way. In my travels, I've used Bitcoin for my stay, travel, food, accommodation, and it's all thanks to the people and their humanity. From Paco Uncle to this young Bitcoiner, I have made friends along this journey who have filled my heart. Let's hear what they have to say. This is your first time? It is. Are you excited? I am. Your first Bitcoin transaction of Burger Shack. Do you have any Bitcoin? Yes, I do. Aww. This is how it works in Cambodia yeah. with Bitcoin. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm just going to just keep it. Boom. That's what I want to do. Now I want you to think about something, guys. She said, I'm just going to keep it. She doesn't live in a country that allows her to keep money. Why? Because, again, if she put $100 in the bank at the end of the year, she has pocket change. She's going to be able to keep this Bitcoin. So just imagine if she's living off $100 a month. And it's very normal around the world in a lot of these unbanked third world countries. And I say all this with love. I just want you to understand the opportunity because it really excites me and look how excited these people are she can take a hundred dollars worth of bitcoin let's say that's what she lives off of for a month just hypothetical well if she puts a hundred dollars in the bank her local currency that that's going to be devalued no matter what at best maybe a year and a half she basically has no money saved zero well in bitcoin the Odds are in a year, two years, that hundred dollars is gonna two X, three X, five X, if not ten X. Ten years from now, it may a hundred X. That's gonna change her life. But no matter what, guys, it's an opportunity. It's at least hope. Because if you take away Bitcoin, and even if Bitcoin fails, which I don't believe is going to, it's proven itself for the last twelve years. But even if it fails, so what? She had no chance, zero opportunity. Guys, in Turkey, the inflation rate is 70% a month. There is zero hope. In America, it is 9%. I think it's double digit, more like 24%. It's hard to get ahead, guys. But that's what Bitcoin offers. If nothing else, forget the huge, huge upside when the world adopts Bitcoin. Forget that. If Bitcoin does nothing else, even in America, much less these countries, if it just keeps you uh, the same, like you can actually save a thousand dollars and at a, the end of the year, you still have a thousand dollars worth of buying power. If that's the only thing Bitcoin ever accomplished, uh, accomplishes it's the best thing that ever happened to the world in my opinion hey 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 so what have you done in 2018 2018 i was traveling uh, all around the world with the bitcoin so i had this xapo card i put 10 bitcoins on it and then the prices started racing and i could travel a long time no in spanish Yo tengo el 90% de todo mi portafolio siempre en Bitcoin. Yeah, except Bitcoin. And there's Bitcoin here. And there's 100 baht. And I just got myself a passport for some Bitcoin. I have one cent. <laughs> How fast was that? That's good. Yay! How do you feel? I feel like I'm a part of a revolution now. Lovely. I want you to think about something, guys. No one is out running the world, spreading the word like for a corporation and asking these vendors to accept Bitcoin. These vendors are seeking out that opportunity, that hope, that technology, because all Bitcoin is, is software, right? I'm not going to get into whether it's a currency or whatever it is, but it is a store of value and it's going to prove itself more and more and more over time. And it has a grassroots movement around the world that 
it's seeking out Bitcoin. It is amazing, guys, because no, they're not seeking out, and no offense to any other crypto, but they're not running around seeking out XRP. They're not uh, running around seeking out Ethereum or uh, any other crypto. They are seeking out Bitcoin. Now, in the future, they may seek out those other ones, but right now, they're seeking out the hope, the love, and the opportunity of Bitcoin. So you go pick your eggs and make your own breakfast. We can get a good moon. I want you to think about something, guys. That little kid, Bitcoin to the moon. No matter how much Bitcoin they have, in my opinion, when Bitcoin does go to the moon, and it is going to. It's not financial advice. It's going to change that little kid's life. That little kid is going to go from living in poverty with no AC or no nothing to possibly first world, uh, you know, having first world living conditions. And that excites me. So no matter how you think about Bitcoin and crypto, guys, please have an open mind. And remember, if you're going against Bitcoin, you're going against that little kid, you're going against that guy on the screen, they have no opportunity. Don't listen to the governments telling you Bitcoin is bad and they want to ban it because of the climate or whatever. Guys, no matter how you think about the climate, these people come first. And Bitcoin is, in my opinion, and check my playlist, the best thing that ever happened, not only to humanity, for opportunity to pull himself out of poverty, it's going to help the climate more than any technology we have seen to date. And I'm going to prove that in another video. So check the playlist. That's a whole different story. But guys, Bitcoin is changing the world and it's going to change these people's lives. So try to get behind it, share, spread the word, and don't fall for the FUD because people have not educated themselves enough to understand what Bitcoin is and what it does and the opportunities uh, and the hope and love that it has made it is making available for people around the world because it's changing lives I love Bitcoin. <laughs> i've seen places i've met people i've experienced so many cultures and learned new things but the biggest takeaway for me has been the fact that people are kind and people will always return the love you give them this is what makes us human Follow along as I continue my journey, one Bitcoin adventure at a time. Hola, yo me llamo Paco y soy de la... Okay, guys. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I hope this video uh, gets to stay up on uh, YouTube. That's why I had to keep interrupting. I wish I could just let it pan through, but, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, get taken off because of um, copyrights or whatever. But I wanted to share the knowledge of what's going on in the world, guys, because it's beautiful. It, it really excites me. I think it's beautiful. But guys, please get behind Bitcoin because in my opinion, if you're against Bitcoin, you're against these people trying to pull themselves out of poverty. You're against uh, what it means to be American, what it means to be a human, what it means to have the right to have a currency, a means of payment, that is not being devalued by a government that doesn't respect the people. And that's happening all over the world, including America. It's disgusting. And Bitcoin is the only hope we all have for a great future. Because right now, there is nowhere in the world, guys, that you can save money. Think about it. You have to save in America. Forget these countries that are tenfold worse. You have to save 9 to 10 percent a year to stay even. So if you got $10,000 in the bank that took you two, three years to save, you have to save another $1,000 next year to maintain that $10,000 worth of buying power. And that's in the most advanced country in the world. That doesn't sound advanced to me. Bitcoin sounds advanced to me. 
Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I say all this with love. This is not financial uh, advice. I just want to spread the word, spread the love, and spread the hope about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is changing the world, guys. If you agree, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Get the word out, guys, because these people, they depend on Bitcoin and they depend on our governments not trying to crush it around the world. We need to get behind Bitcoin. It is love, it is hope, and it is the biggest opportunity that man has ever seen to pull all of the world out of poverty. That's all I got for you guys. Take care. Make sure you come back. We're trying to grow this community. I love all of you.